Alrighty, part three of Road to a Thousand Flame Elementium from 45 starting. Uh, we've done our 140-ish uh, maps, and now with the money that we made from mapping, we are going to do some bossing. Uh, I'm going to start off with 58 rounds of Keegan, hopefully make a lot of money from that. Um, Void Sea Invitation Cravings are also 1.2 Flame Elementium each. Uh, so I'm going to spam those. I noticed that the beginnings were incredibly cheap. However, um, Infinities are also down uh, to about 13 or 14 Flame Elementium. So I'll do some math on that after these what 80, 97... Uh, boss encounters. I've also got some um, Path of the Braves that dropped in the uh, maps. So that'll be um, six ones, nine twos, nine threes, nine fours. I can't do fives yet because I haven't finished crafting my two weapons. Um, so I'll sell the fives. Um, and yeah, let's start off with a Keegan. Now we just need a nexus straight away, and that'll uh, <laughs> that'll put us off to a good start, eh? Oh, I need the timer. Where's the timer? Let's reset that. Start it going, and let's just get it on. I do have thirty percent XP, so uh, very shortly I'll have uh, zero percent XP. I fixed my build, so um, the talent points that I had in um, damage, which clearly I don't need, um, I put back into tank, so now I don't die. So that's... well, not instantly, anyway. Oh, forgot. Mechanics! Ah! Oh. Yep, see? <laughs> I still die to one-shot mechanics. Um, and stupidity. There you go. How's that for a good start? And the gloves that are absolute worthless junk. Um, 50 seconds because I'm an idiot. Might do another one. Oh, that's right. It spawns your way back there, doesn't it? That's probably the most annoying part of this whole fight. Back over. Come on, give us another one. I think I need nine total to pay for this entire adventure. Immune to damage for some reason. Okay, there we go. Phase, please. <clears throat> oh, sure. I almost died again to absolute stupidity. I'm probably the worst player ever. Now we run against the wall. And now we collect our loot. Ah, oh, we didn't get one. I don't know what that is. But it's probably garbage. Let's see where this one pops us out. Same spot. Ugh. Tempted to put my movement speed relics on just for my memories, rather. Just for that, but... Alright, let's do one more. I want another Nexus, and then I'll just show the...
Alright guys, um, I did a lot of um, Keegan last night and looking at uh, just the usual trade house search this morning, um, looking at the drops that dropped that aren't the standard, uh, <coughs> excuse me, aren't the standard uh, familiar nexus, I discovered this in my inventory, <coughs> excuse me, which is a bit insane. Um, this corrosion seems to be 500 flame elementium, or 580 if you have both of these, which is absolutely insane. Um, I probably won't count that towards the thousand if it sells because that's just crazy. Uh, I had a phantom drop, um, seems really good for leveling. Uh, about five flame elementium. I'll only count any of these if they actually sell. Uh, Magnus Mine Flame was five. Unidentified Flaming Evils, they're up for eight, so I want a quick sale, so I'll put them up for seven. Dark Chaser was four. Uh, some other compasses that we got from the, the maps are up for sale. Um, they're not involved in the test. Uh, Winter is near, they were four. Flame elementium, unidentified. Everlasting Cloud was 12. Uh, the Gloves of Mages Assistant, uh, that dropped during the mapping. Um, I've got some more slots there if these corrode. So if you get, apparently if you get Strength Corrosion on these, uh, they're worth a bit. If you don't, then they're worthless. So we had these drop during the maps, so might as well use them. Why not? I'm not going to use these. I tried selling these for uh, 14 overnight and they didn't sell. So let's drop that to 13. So that's 260. And yep. Sweet. A frozen path. So let's quickly corro corrode those four uh, things. See if we hit. Uh, if we hit, then that's 180, which is pretty much what you want. The top one and nothing else. Twenty-five chance to hit four times in a row.
So, in summary of this journey, I was originally going to not include uh, the epic drop that I got. However, during my gameplay, I've had an Xbox drop, which was 800 Flame Elementium, ended up identifying and corroding and selling for 400 and something. Um, I've had, uh, early on, I had some um, good boots drop. I've had my Warden's Breastpin drop. Um, so lucky drops like that are just part of the game. <clears throat> so to summarize, I have 397 uh, flame elementium, which isn't a thousand. However, um, I've only just finished farming, so we have to give it a chance to uh, sell. So I have a little tracking spreadsheet here, and this is basically um, the tracking that I have um, this is the amount of tax that I've paid, which all comes up to 44. Um, so the ones in green are the items that have sold. And that's the 44 tax from those. I'm including the tax in the tally, even though I don't really have to because I'm 134 over anyway. Um, because there is currently an event on, no, not there, in here. If you go down to Hunter Training, you can do all of these quests and they give you uh, tax tokens back, so tax vouchers. So that's 20, 40, uh, 70, 110. So I've only paid 44 in tax, so that more than covers that. And I only did all these during this test. So uh, it's an event on at the moment. Utilize it, you'll uh, make a bit of cash. Um, some other stuff sold. I was already doing my um, calculations before then, so 
Uh, let's just get back to that. Uh, Phantom, that might not sell, so let's just check that back to zero. Uh, the Twilight Vestment, that was a um, double corroded item that dropped while doing uh, Keegan. Uh, that's the first time that I've realized that uh, corroded items were dropping. Uh, that's on the trade house at the moment. Um, Ah, there it is. So it dropped with when reaping uh, energy shield starts charging immediately and cannot be interrupted within two seconds. Uh, that by itself is something like 450. Um, but with both of these, the cheapest was 500 and something. Um, if we do these, it's probably make, gonna make me a liar. No, so if that's my 500. And that's another one up for 580. Uh, looking at the spreadsheet, even if that sells for, it can go for 130 less. So 400, 370, um, we'll still hit that 1000 uh, mark and I'll have enough tax tokens to uh, claim that back. Uh, other assorted compasses that haven't sold yet. Um, <clears throat> uh, Spiral fossil, acute fossils, oh, they actually sold, so that's one less as well. Um, the end, I saw that they were worth three at the moment, uh, so I've chucked them up, even if they sell for uh, two, you know, we're still over anyway. Um, ecstasies, they would come from the Void Sea, I still hate that encounter, even though it was uh, 44 Flame Elementium um, for all 39. They were just so incredibly boring to run. Um, so I still made 50 flame elementium from it and they took about a minute each. Um, I had a couple of okay um, skills drop as well as um, a lot of other items. I handed in a fair few memory cards and um, got a few extra flame elementium that way. Um, but for a 45 Flame Elementium investment at the start, which was about, um, uh, part one was two, three, and I think the last one was about four hours as well. So 10 hours all up, uh, made a thousand Flame Elementium from um, 45, buying some tier eight maps, spamming those, buying more tier eight maps to build up enough of a, uh, a base to then run bosses. So bosses are always going to make you more in pretty much every game available. Uh, Path of Exile, um, Torchlight, everything is always bosses because that's the end game. Um, all right, I have no idea where I was up to in the summary, so I'll just crack on with uh, whatever. So we've gone through uh, the drops and what I've put on the market, uh, the trade house to be sold. Uh, at minimum, we're going to make at least a thousand profit. Um, I might as well use the tax tokens uh, while we're here. Oh, there you go. It did sell for 500. Um, <laughs> that's pretty good timing. Um, pretty insane. Um, anyway, so we definitely made a thousand. I don't even have to pretend that, you know, or anything. Um, we've made a thousand. That's awesome. Um, yeah, so that, that's, that's very good. Um, anyway, let's use some of the tokens. <clears throat> Max 100. Still, I need another 400 tokens. 400! Um, which is nuts, because if it's 8, you pay 8 every time, so 812 times 8. So I've sold over six and a half thousand flame elementium um, worth of uh, tax. Although it's more than that, isn't it? What's the um, it's in trade? That only calculates after up oh, two hundred. So it's only an extra two hundred. All right, cool. So anyway. Now that we've completed um, our road to a thousand, 
now I can get back to um, doing the other stuff that I <laughs> wanted to uh, do. And I'll put them up as well. And I have completed some of my crafting. Um, I was crafting new rings, so I've crafted both the rings. I was crafting gloves that I stuffed up that um, are still decent. They're still missing uh, gear percentage, so I'll craft those on. Boots are done. Um, chest is pretty much done. Um, I just needed some cold resist so I could start wearing these. So I'm res capped. Am I still res cap? Yeah, okay. So I can buy a fiend crown. Let's do that, actually. Uh, I want a fiend crown. Oh, dark chaser sold. More stuff selling. Selling, selling, selling. Um, fiend crown. How much is it? It is... <clears throat> I want it to be not corroded. 160 flame elementium unidentified before I just take your time there it is dragon slayers notes I don't think I've found one at all this season but I'm not really running void lands um, so 16 each highlight prices unit price max of 16 14 max of 14 all right, so if you just go to the last page, all the f new ones are on the very last page. So we got one for 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, and 16. So five times 15 plus 14 plus 16 plus 16. So we got it for 121 uh, flame ele elementium all up, which is pretty darn good. Let's hand it in. Yes, Leo, the neighbour is there. Now we have a fiend crown, unidentified. If you really wanted to, you could just uh, go to the trade house, search, uh, int helmet, fiend crown, uh, corroded, no. Shame we can't do unidentified. So 165. <coughs> 165 highlight prices max 165 one for 150 identified <clears throat> so 165 seems to be the cheapest unidentified um, minus 165 so 44 um, if you're paying tax that's 24 Flame Elementium profit, just buying the Dragon Slayer's notes and then listing a Fiend Crown. Um, more tips, just... <laughs> if you're going to buy a Unique, maybe do it this way. Um, let's identify it. Oh, minus 10, that's pretty good. 25% movement speed, 36% attack speed, no one cares about any of that. 117%. So that was a pretty darn good um, Fiend Crown. Now, because we've just finished a long ass thing, I didn't keep any. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Um, and I've sold all of the... Um, Nexus that we farmed. <clears throat> so let's quickly see if they're not for the same price, then I'm not going to do it. But highlight prices max per unit are 11. There's two, 10. I just want one. Just give me one. There we go. One. All right, cool. <laughs> uh, pay attacks on things, cause. 
All right, corrosion. Let's hit big. Um, we're not going to hit anything, honestly. Um, and yeah, see what we get. Oh, of course. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Ah, it was minus 10 and now it's minus 6. No. Ah, oh, I mean, we've got a tiny bit more crit damage, but 4% sealed mana would be nice, wouldn't it? Anyway. Let's put that on. That almost completes my build. Um, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Um, I still need to replace my weapon with... Where are they? This is going to be one of them. Uh, I'm going to make two of these. That's going to be spell damage. So instead of giving plus three to minion skill, it's effectively going to be plus eight. Um, it's going to be a bunch more minion damage. It's got aura. 22% uh, chance for minions. It's going to be 30%. Cooldown recovery aura. It's going to be really, really nice. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's all I've got for this series. I might do a quick summary in a couple of days. Uh, if these videos get um, a few uh, likes or whatever. And uh, yeah. Thanks very much for watching this series. If you liked it, um, comment, subscribe. Uh, all that sort of jazz and uh, yeah I should be at 200 subscribers by the time this gets out and uh, yeah thank you very much